All right, everyone. Uh, it is me, Johnson Chan. Uh, so I actually started working on my game formally yesterday. And oh my god, despite all the crap that I read, it's like, you know what, I kind of want to just like do this as simple as possible, because the less crap I put into the game, right, you know, to get something done, you know, the better it will it'll run. Because, you know, less code executing means just less problems. Uh, and of course, there's many ways to do it. And I'm actually trying to avoid as much uh, scripting and coding as possible. Uh, and it's like ridiculous just how hard it is just to get the object to move with the player controller and then have the camera follow it. It's like, you gotta be kidding me. And of course, I still have that, this problem where the uh, player just simply falls through the world. So, and then I'm trying to like figure out, okay, I need a collider so I can turn off gravity. And then I finally figured out last night that the problem was I forgot that the uh, temporary player that I'm using is a uh, 3D object, so I'm not supposed to put a 2D collider on it. That's why it's giving me these conflicting errors that like I never had before. Uh, so I was, I was trying to apply 2D to 3D and vice versa. So I was like, oh, okay. And I figured it out. The end. I was like, okay, you know what? I'll just delete the thing and then restart over and then just put like a 2D sprite because that's what I'm supposed to look for. But then I have to animate it. So I'm trying to decide how I want to do it. So I got the two and a half hour tutorial, but I'm so sick of watching tutorials. Uh, I do know I could do the Bracky tutorial though, which only takes 10 minutes. It'll just simply tell me how to animate the damn thing. So I'm trying to decide how I want to do it or I don't know. But either way, you know, that's just how it goes and it's got to grind through it because, you know, it's going to come a point hopefully where I won't have to learn too much new shit. It'll just be a repetition because really what, what do I have to do? Design the map, right? I got that pretty easily, right? I had the sky box, so you have the nice little sky, right? First map I'm designing is just simply the ruins of New York City, so <laughs> it won't be much ruins because, you know, obviously it's just going to be a simple, like, green and road stuff, and then later I'll add, like, the buildings. And then later after that, you know, I'll actually add, like, broken buildings or something. Uh, you know, and then all I want to do is just start putting in turrets and, like, the player controller and just have, like, you know, shit shooting at each other. So, uh, yeah, so I keep my eye on the prize. Oh, you know, got to use a tissue if I'm going to touch my face. Uh, I'm not sure how effective this is, but it's probably more effective than just using my actual hands. <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches are 15, apparently, for this week. So, a lot of crap happening, and we finally got a uh, Trump book. So, uh, I decided not to read it. I just want to see what it actually says, because it's obviously ongoing. All right. So, uh, I think I might have mentioned this yesterday, but I'm ex I was expecting today to either be a neutral day or maybe slightly down. However, because we're getting the stimulus, who knows how much money it's going up by. And now it's four, because I woke up pretty early today. I went to bed like 11, early, a lot earlier at the 11 o'clock mark. So, uh, you know, I had a good night's sleep. Of course, I could have had nine, even nine and a half hours of sleep. This you know the super still was cleaning with bleach but i think he did open the window at least because the smell wasn't as bad in my apartment but it still woke me up so it's just yeah it's just what are you gonna do right especially now because maybe he has to scrub away all the coronavirus right because you know none of us want to get that shit so anyway uh it looks pretty good um yeah because first of all larry cudlow said it was a six trillion dollar bailout like six effing trillion right do you, does anyone even know how many zeros are in that right <laughs> It's actually 12. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh yeah, we're on Firefox. That's right. Web Calc 2. Uh, I, I really hate this browser. Uh, but I get, eventually I'll get used to the shittiness of this. Uh, I'm 16 and older. I accept all your shitty cookies. Now spam me with all your ads. Even a simple page like this takes forever to load. Uh... 60 billion, 600 billion, there we go, 6 trillion, yeah, I was right, 12, 12, 12 zeros, all right, 12 zeros, and 15 zeros in a quadrillion, all right, that's the number that comes after trillion, we're heading there, folks, we're heading there, all right, so, uh, yeah, so, so far, so good, let's just do cryptocurrency first, because this thing was going up, now it's going down a little bit, uh, we just got to find out what the details are, 65.7% Bitcoin diamonds, 24 of them is 141.4 billion uh, market cap, I do want to say that there was something Mike Boland did actually mention, I did retweet it, 
Um, hey, this was also pretty good too. She did a pretty good uh, Trump dubbing. Trump's been great. Yes, he's actually been improving uh, significantly. So uh, yeah, of course, uh, Democrats just hate Trump. So it, it doesn't matter. You have to worry about everybody else. This is actually quite unfortunate. I'm going to have this same problem too. It's like I'm just going to have all the shit libs just Dow voting spamming in my game. Because uh, they just don't like the fact that, uh, you know, it's a Catholic conservative uh, <laughs> as the hero and you're working for him. And then you're like, yeah, fuck this. Fuck this shit game. It's, a, it's full of hate, you know, or whatever the hell they'll come up with. Uh, okay, so apparently it did not. Oh, my God. All right. So, yeah, Twitter did fuck up. All right. Because it's supposed to. Oh, my God. Uh God, I'm gonna have to Oh all right, because jeez, alright, we're gonna have to delete this. Alright, we're gonna have to go Alright, I know what happened. Got yeah. it's pretty rare that Twitter fucks up like this. It was actually like one of the first times it fucking did that shit. Now, hopefully, uh, he didn't tweet too much stuff like he usually does. Maybe I can find it somewhere dip a dug in. And I wonder if Control F works on Firefox. Maybe that'll be the saving grace. Um, oh, it's down in the lower left corner. Control F, Mike Bolin? No. Uh, Smash Miller. Let's see. Uh, where? Well, that would be uncharacteristic. Why would Mike Bolin delete the tweet? Oh man, do I have to manually do this shit? Oh wait, what am I doing? If I'm going for Mike Bolin, why don't I just simply go to his Twitter? Actually, he's been growing. Yeah, this is the thing. Why isn't this showing up? Oh, God, this is so annoying. All right, there we go. Because uh, I know I definitely replied here, too. Yes, there it is. Oh, yes, uh, what is Wawa? What? No, see, she... Uh, first, the bank threw for color that not a real estate investor with cash or a clean balance sheet. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, check the local real survey. Sarah, a lot of each county set its own rules regarding eviction. Also, most don't realize, but local fair housing advocates for landlords too, so reach out to them. Times are tough. That's true. And then nothing new here. Oh, I think you should actually, I think there's. Uh, okay. Uh, so, anyway, commercial real estate tenants are now taking drastic measures and invoking force majeure, including 2,400 unit mattress firm who will stop paying rent. So this is a real problem. This is in Bloomberg. So uh, the reason why Moral, uh, MRRL, and all those extracts, those those REITN 2Xs are fall failing is because of, because exactly because of this. So now they're having a fallout. Now, with that being said, it looks like Remmel's actually uh, the only high quality one that's still standing. And I don't want to go to the Seeking Alpha article, but there is one on it. Uh, but basically, he has a very good article about explaining Remmel and all the other uh, similar similarities. So, uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good here. Yesterday was looking pretty bad because Remmel is just tanking for some reason. Uh, but now it's back up because of the stimulus. So I think... Uh, I think uh, I'll be able to get my money back at the minimum, and hopefully, because like I really should be up like a hundred grand to hundred fifty grand from stocks if it weren't for fucking MRRL. But you know, uh, that that's just how it goes. So this is the thing again. I don't know why Twitter was just being such a pain in the ass. All right, so Bitcoin's down a little bit to sixty six eleven. Uh, Litecoin's down to thirty nine. Um, we're gonna have to find what's in the stimulus to see what's going on. Uh, cause this thing, cause there was a lot of disjointed shit going on. Like things were going up in crypto when everything else was going down and then vice versa. So I think what we're seeing is people are just simply dumping the uh, crypto right now to get cash so they could go buy stocks. And that's what we're probably seeing right now. Yeah. Dow's already up to 710. So I think that's what's happening. Uh, so once all this chaos starts settling, right, and then we'll have to see what happens with coronavirus, I think uh, things we should go back to normal. 
Dove coin, um, 224.8 million market cap, and then Steam. I'm not even bothering with Steam until basically um, either I see a drastic drop in its price, which indicates something fundamental happened, or we'll wait till like next week, or maybe even two weeks from now, because Hive.io and Dlease.io, and they're all like doing the hard fork shit, so they have to do all that programming. So, you know, just let them just let them work on that. But they said they're bringing everything back on to support both chains, so that's all we care about. Steam, 17.52 cents. So not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's do one last refresh to make sure we're getting... All right, so that's what I like to see. My boy, Remmel, going back up. So once it goes back to like $27, $28, uh, that should make up all the losses from MRRL. And then maybe in four... So basically sometime in the year 2024 and during Trump's last... Basically, basically Trump's last year in office... That's when I'll start dumping uh, all my stocks. Cause I just want to exit the stupid asshole stock market. Um, I know I'll be leaving money on the tail because I know Microsoft's going to go up. RF will probably be doing fine. But you know what? I just don't want to deal with the stupid asshole stock market anymore. It's just going to be... Uh, it's, I'm going to treat the stock market exactly like a slower version of cryptocurrency. Right? See, cryptocurrency, I've got no emotional attachment to it. It's like, oh, goes up, peak, dump everything. But for some reason with stocks, I seem to have some sort of more, I think it must be like society's lifelong condition. It's like, put your retirement 401k in stocks. So I still have that mentality. Hmm. Excuse me, that's a burp. But um, do I want to do that? Yes. Uh, but with that being said, uh, you know, there is evidence too, because like these stocks do last a lot longer. So you have the illusion that it's safer. To be honest, you know what? I'm just going to just simply have a bunch of cash, empty out the market account. I'll open up a bank account with the same stock brokerage because they also offer, and they're Bitcoin friendly, apparently. So I'll have a brokerage account with them. So uh, basically, it'll be the same. I won't have to worry about. I mean, already they're pretty good with uh, funding my account instantly. Uh, but I think if I use both the same bank and the same brokerage, uh, they'll just give me instant cash uh what i call for it so because the problem with stocks unlike crypto is i still have to worry about that stupid three-day stupid irs slash sec rule right so you can't buy and sell instantly you can only do one you can't do both instantly so uh uh what you might call it so i'll have that card oh yeah look at that baby rental going or straight up back to the moon yeah yeah yeah, so because like if this stock fell, I was gonna like you know what? I'm never taking stock advice from the comment section ever again. Because the first time I did it, I got fucked, and then you know I bought this stupid stock AMZA. That's why it's not going up as much because of their stock, uh, the stock reversal. But I should have known, uh, because at the time I bought, I was like you know what? I'm not too confident with the stock, but I don't give a shit. I'll just pu put in three, four grand, whatever, right? Because at that time, you know, I was like so liquid with cash. Now it's like, okay, you know, I haven't uh, sold any fiat to uh, crypto to fiat in like 13, 14 months now. We're going about in the 14. Now we got coronavirus. So it's like, you know, I better start tightening up my belt here, you know. I've been tightening up for a while, like, so it's not bad. But I actually was like, you know, I, should, I better check my checking account. And I know it's, oh shit, down to $1,400 and rent is due in seven days. So I had to, you know, replenish it from my savings account. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, all right, okay. Uh, we're going to save the best for last, which is basically the stimulus deal. So that's obviously going to be the title of this thing. So let's just get the stuff. Oh, thank God. Thank God for Sincho. I'm really glad he told me about it. I just wish that I knew about it earlier somehow. And then I would have found Rebel for like 56 cents because that's at the bottom. Can you imagine if I put in my four grand or how much did I put in? 3000 no, thirty five hundred or whatever, and bought Remmel at like fifty six cents. I already would have made six seven x my return already <laughs> as of today. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you know what? I still managed to buy pretty cheap, so whatever. Yeah, and you know what? You know, as it's going up compared to everybody else, so you know, because right now uh, it had to compensate for the fact that it skyrocketed on Friday. But then the markets were tanking 10 percent so there was a dis there was a dislocation then monday and tuesday rebel was you know uh going back to what it should be and then today it's finally where it should be and it's now going up like it's supposed to so 
uh, yeah, things are looking good. Because again, the biggest threat, as we already looked, already closed the Twitter, is commercial tenant real estate tenants just not paying rent. So it's going to be a problem. But it should be easy to fix. Because again, uh, the four because tr- this article doesn't mention the four trillion dollar bailout by the Federal Reserve, but there's a there's there's apparently a lot of conditionals. So uh, Fed bailout coronavirus. So let's see, if we can also take a look at that too, because that actually is what's going to affect the markets. Donald Trump definitely knows about because that's obviously how he makes his money, commercial real estate. So you could bet your ass that Trump's going to do everything he can to make sure, uh, you know, we don't have a situation like this. Johnson Chan. Please tell me at least Twitter or Firefox could save that. <coughs> mm. uh, so that we can prevent this. Because if everybody in America starts doing this shit, uh, yeah. Um, er- it all blows up, right? But we're not going to let that happen because we have experience from the 2008 crisis and we have an actual commercial real estate investor who's all about commercial real estate, Donald Trump, as president. So I think we should be able to do it. Plus, it's easy. Just say, all right, we freeze everything, right? Just And with the F- Fed's $4 trillion bailout, that's probably where the money's going to come from to do temporary like freezes and payments and, you know, just to survive. That's all we have to do is survive. Right, the coronavirus will pass. The war- the weather gets warmer. It's actually already getting warmer already, uh, and then it'll be ba- uh, back to life as normal. And then I can go to Target and get my fucking uh, high quality, cheap protein. Right, because I'm getting really annoyed with uh, you know empty store shelves. All right, GMC coins at six to seven. It looks like it's barreling up back towards eight. Actually, it already was at eight, so that's good. <coughs> Great, my throat's getting dry. I really don't want to pop a vitamin C tool, but I need to try to ration those until I can get my um, my bottle next Wednesday. So yeah, seven days from now. Because I might also come Thursday. Uh, six to seven, four or four coins. So not too bad here. Not too much there. Um, actually, you know, I need to click this. Uh, two by two coins, 62 to 60, 62 to 63, so it's going up pretty nicely, so that's good. Uh, compound coins also gaining significant strength. It's at like six or seven thousand ish, or 5,500, 7,200. So, uh, compound coins been going up uh, a nice amount. Um, I think this trade volume is still from yesterday's big spike, so. But either way, it's getting better, so. And of course, it's getting harder and harder to farm it, so. Uh, you know, the inflation's being uh, controlled pretty well. Oh, yeah, thank you to the guy that subscribed, or maybe it's the person that resubscribed. I don't know what it is about BitChute, but at least things always recover. Um, but uh, I'm noticing 2x2 two two coins actually getting harder to uh, stake now, too. I, like, I'm actually creating like bigger blocks. Obviously, I'm not saying which ones, because I don't want to get hit by a spam attack. And number two, uh, which is still very low, because everything's too expensive to spam attack. And number two, um, it's a uh, the difficulty as I checked like an hour ago is four percent, like four point one percent for a two by two coin. Yeah, it's actually getting harder to um, uh, stake even with bigger blocks. Like, because normally I would get like my own mining feedback when I combine my blocks, but I've actually been not been able to do that as much. So uh, that's good. It's getting harder, and we want the difficulty to go up. So. Yes, inflation goes down, and then also direct as a direct consequence, the price remains stable or it'll go down less. So, you know, because right now it's two by two coin for four coin. Uh, we're not going to look at that, to be honest. I don't really care about the, um, well, I guess we'll take, oh, I already refreshed this like 10,000 times. Uh, crypto and blockchain tech, one step closer to the gaming industry. Uh, I really should read that because I am interested in this. I guess we'll read their shitty article. Uh, oh yeah, so someone stuck in a digital dollar in the stimulus bill, but then they stripped, they removed it. <laughs> so damn, almost. We 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 couldn't outfox the foxes, not this time, you know. But maybe next time. Uh, U.S. logic can see digital dollar in the economy. So this, is, oh that's oh yeah, this is old. So. Uh, what exactly are they doing? Forte, uh, crypto, pod, mobile, and computer gaming. Uh, oh, high res studios. I recognize those names. I don't know these guys. 
High res studios. They made it. They. I know. I played one of their games. That's why, because I saw their logo when I, you know, load up the game for the first time. Um, okay. Utilizes XRP to power payment settlement system. Forte now oversees Ripple's 100. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So yeah. If, yeah. Whatever. It's just really nothing new. All right. And they're using XRP, which is centralized. So all right. But that's fine. Like, there's someone will do an open source copy of what they're doing or something like that, and then. They'll port it over to actual decentralized crypto, and then we'll implement it into 404 GMC and blah, 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 blah. All right, now this is what we want to see. Donald Trump is gaining. All right, so he's going up and up. Um, oh, wow, he is skyrocketing. That's what we want to see. All right, so Donald Trump's back in the, back in the position. Uh, of course, Joe Biden is just mentally incapacitated. Like, he can't even... He, he doesn't even make any sense anymore when he, like, does talks. It's like... It's, once this coronavirus shit uh, is over and we start doing the um, actual elections, like, it's going to be brutal what's going to happen to Joe Biden. And on top of that, it's like, you know, we can't have senile people uh, running for any office, <laughs> you know, and Joe Biden's going to be exactly that. It's like, you know, he, like, it, it's insane. He should not be anywhere near this close, but that just goes to show the power of the fucking establishment. All right, Trump. Uh, let's see. Do you have anything here? All right. I I need. All right. I need my vitamin C chewable. It's getting too dry. You know the heat's on. You know it's still pretty dry overall. And um, <clears throat> you know I'm just getting sick of tired. I mean even consider uh, going to Target today. But I don't know. Is the shelves because like. One thing I'm thinking about is, well, it's we're, we've been a week now into the shutdown, so everybody who needed food should already have some food. So hopefully that reduces traffic because it's like supply and demand, All right? Before a thousand people, five hundred, two thousand people were going to the store a week, right? And then shutdown happens, and then now all of a sudden, forty, uh, twenty thousand people in my neighborhood need to go to the store, so. You know, why wait in line at Chipotle when I could just come back later and do something else and then 30, 60, 40 minutes later, everybody got their food. So that was actually called something. Um, there was actually a term to describe it. That was called something. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I don't want to watch this. This is a one minute. Have you been? <coughs> one minute, 50 seconds. Um... 13, yeah, I mean, Democrats and shitloves just don't like Trump. That's just the obvious. Oh, yeah, I had someone still reply to me yesterday. I immediately blocked it because it was just a fake bot account. It says, you and TC Trot are fucking assholes. It's like, yeah, that's why I never want to appeal to the liberals, man. Because they're like, a lot of them are, well, you know, a lot of people are giving support of Casey Trump, but a lot of liberals are still just like, you know, screaming at her and shit, too. It's like, you know. At least when conservatives yell at me, it's because they think I'm a fake conservative. But liberals just like to hate on each other because they like to hate. <laughs> it's like, you know, what's what, what's the point? You know, I'm out of hypocrisy, superior of Adam Schiff. It's okay for him to assert a government, blah, 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 blah. Auto manufacturers given okay to produce much needed ventilators. Um, okay. Yeah, we really need those ventilators. Okay. Um, okay. Judge won't release Avenai over a coronavirus claim. <laughs> Gee, you know, that is actually pretty funny. <coughs> Can we trust China ban wet markets? The answer apparently is no, but we should push for this. So this is actually, this is actually good. Um, they really do need to ban this because if they don't, I actually would 100% support Increasing tariffs further in China and say if you as long as wet markets exist, we will keep these, you know, additional 25% tariffs for a total of 50%. We will remove 25% from the tariff and go back to the original levels when you ban wet markets and you re-implement them, then we will put the tariff back on. So 
Yeah. Because, A, it makes me look bad, because everyone thinks I eat dogs, bats, wolves, and cats, and... I don't know, what is it? Bat soup or whatever? And then... Oh, that's interesting. Where is the, uh... It's two Asian cops, but... Huh. Ain't sure, but, uh, yeah. It's like, you know, I just don't want to deal with it. It's like... There are a couple of ways to deal with racism, and you need a most high faceted approach. One is to just tell people not to do it. Well, the number two is to also look at the source of the stereotype, find out what's actually true about it, in this case the white markets, and put a stop to the bad behavior. Right? That's all everyone ever asks. And the problem is people don't want to stop the bad behavior. That's why we got problems in the Middle East, we got problems in China with the fucking bad soup markets or whatever the fuck this disgusting shit is. Um, and then, you know, I'm thinking white people should actually stop saying the, spamming the N-word so much, because that way it'll stop pissing off the black people, <laughs> right? So you could put an end to that. So it's like, oh, and of course, you know, blacks also have to call out their own, call out bad behavior by the black community, especially like the South Chicago type of stuff, which of course a lot of them don't do. In fact, none of them fucking do it, except Jesse Lee Peterson. So... Everybody's got to take some fucking responsibility for, like, their own tribe, right? But people don't want to do that. They just want to, like, fuck everybody up the ass without their consent and, you know, shoot them in the, shoot them in the head. And it's, it's very evil. It's very evil to do stuff like that. So, anyway. Uh, Alright, so it looks like Trump is going back to uh, normal mode. So that probably indicates to me that things are getting better with the coronavirus. Uh, how the coronavirus compares to the flu... Uh, low bit fat while it's going to high end washer plus put the difference of the flu. Mm. Yeah, well, fuck Mitt Romney. He, Mitt Romney does not have coronavirus, so I guess he just had the regular flu. <laughs> okay, I'll retweet this. Uh, I didn't realize this was an insult. It was really great news. I'm so happy I could barely speak. He may have been a terrible. Pre <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care if they're all actually choking my chewables, but <laughs> really, don't touch your face. <laughs> and even worse, he was senator, but he is a rival, and I like him a lot. <laughs> oh man, yeah. All right, so Trump's uh, back uh, back on, you know, oh, my God, time has not been good to Kirstie Alley. Uh, yeah, so Trump's back into full campaign mode. Um, we should never be reliant on a foreign country. That is true. To get serious for just a moment, this really fucked us, globalism. So uh, hopefully this will... will uh, hopefully this will do something. All right, and then blah, blah, blah. All right, so nothing new about coronavirus. Interestingly enough, he has not said much about the uh, stimulus bill right here. All right, let's get to the main meat of the story. Also, uh, Rebel is now up to $2.85. Holy shit. All right, well, I'm back in the game. Uh, really? RF is going down. I, mean, I guess I don't really care too much about RF because I know it's pretty stable. However, with the mortgage to commercial real estate defaults, that could be an issue. Which will eventually uh, affect this too, mortgages. But apparently, Remel is consisting of a bunch of other real estate mortgage trusts that they combine into one and then they leverage it. So then they get the dividend income from that. Hmm. Wow, 285 to 254. There's some serious stuff going on in the markets. What's going on? <clears throat> ah, because it's going down. Okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're getting real-time news happening in real... Okay. We had two huge shocks to the system, Port of L.A. Um, okay. Uh-huh. All right. So it looks like uh, real stuff is happening, so... All right, so let's see. Where is our Trump bucks? Wartime level investment. Our idea is to include a phrase from twelve hundred dollar garment checks to individuals to hundreds of billions of dollars to the fight the crisis included. The most contentious contentious parts uh, over the half trillion of businesses. Okay, the initial proposal from 
Okay, I don't care what they were complaining about. Just tell me what was in it now. Uh, yes, they improved it significantly, according to Schumer and Mitch McCuckle. Both the Republicans and shitlib leaders predict the bill will be passed quickly in the Senate. Yes. Uh, oh, the House is going to be a problem, right? But even Nancy Pelosi said that she'll probably support it. I, think. I haven't heard anything from her, but I haven't heard anything from her saying she's going to downvote it either. Final parts of the bill are being written, but here's a rundown of what we know. Okay. Airlines, a special provision, so of course you're going to get free shit. Um, okay. Airlines see it as a reason for us to stop buybacks and pay dividends in exchange for help from the federal government. Okay. <clears throat> the package includes a mix of grants and loans. So these coming when Trump signed Tuesday evening that the money would come in the form of loans. We'll be helping Boeing. We'll help the airlines. We're doing a lot of things. Blah, 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 blah. And the money will come back to us. It will come back to us in a very strong form. Well, the loans will, but this does say grants. Either way, the airlines were singled out for special treatment because airlines do provide security resources and national security issues. Munition said, adding, whether well, there's something that's very important to Americans. Yeah, and that's probably why the Boeing and airline assholes are taking advantage of this fact. So we're just going to have to see. Uh, we're just going to have to see uh, just how much they'll abuse it. Other impact industries, crews have a range of ways to get government cash. All right, so they're getting money through the SBA, $50 billion. Uh, story continues. The deal ramps up things aggressively, $100 billion. Uh, 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 Marco, Marco Cucchio. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's not probably going to the SBA. You're not going to tent somewhere in the disaster and some girl. Blah, 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 blah. You're going to a bank, a financial institution. Um, okay. The deal report includes a $367 billion, $500 billion. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, actually, wait. The deal report, $367 to $500 billion. Uh, so $867 billion for loans. Okay. So that's actually what you want to see is loans because that means they'll have to pay the money back. What's still a bit of a mission is actually how the new lending actually works. Uh, so that's probably where the rich people are going to steal their money, uh, steal our money uh, through this new agency. Uh, a broad-based credit facility will facilitate for across the valley. Um, okay. Some of these loans, SBA for provisions to ban stock buybacks. A lot of cash, especially in the new lending field, will find its way to a range of publicly traded companies. The deal includes provisions to stop these companies from using that cash for stock buybacks and executive bonuses. So you borrow this money, you're probably not allowed to do stock buybacks. Uh, that's just like a explicit definition, which is what we want. I'm not sure this applies to the airline industry, though. <clears throat> Every loan deck will be public. And made available to Congress very quickly so we can see where the money is going. Okay, so they're definitely going to be breathing down their necks, which is fine. Uh, oversight of the newly inspector general position focused on oversight of these funds, along with a five person congressional panel. Structure sort of what was done for the TARP of the decade ago. Um, yeah, TARP was a disaster. Hundred uh, million more dollars. Um, Oh man, the same idiot is now Inspector Gerald. Uh, oh, okay, maybe he's not. Uh, there have, oh, actually, so this guy actually even says that his, his position was worthless too, because he said there has to be actual real oversight transparency. Uh, control of president, vice president, members of Congress, okay, but well, yeah, this doesn't obviously mean it. They'll just do insider trading. Hundreds of billions of dollars in the money will also flow directly to businesses. Somehow, uh, the $1,200 checks will be spent. Well, yeah, if you can reopen the business so we could spend money there. Like, if there's a hardware store in my neighborhood and they need money, well, it's closed because of the shutdown. So, I mean, they're kind of fucked. <laughs> Even though I have my $1,200 check. Uh, and employment insurance. Da, 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 da. Plan also includes a massive infusion of cash to the healthcare industry, healthcare providers, community, da, 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 virus, locales, and uh, overall, what it's other will set stage for a robust economic recovery, which it will. Um, blah, 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 and they're updating the story. All right, fine. <coughs> uh, hmm. Excuse me. 
So very interesting. There's absolutely no mention of the six trillion dollars at all. Like they, it just disappeared. Uh, okay. Okay. So you know what? They were probably. So he was probably telling the real uh, bailout, which is six trillion. However, four trillion of it is loans. So they're just gonna conveniently not mention it anymore. Which is like. I mean, it's quasi bailout because it's all alone. How much of it will be forgivable? And eh, you know, it, it, it's it's like re it's a really gray area. But this is definitely at least the actual bailout amount minimum, which is two trillion. So uh, I'm gonna refresh this one more time. We don't see anything new. I'm just gonna end the video because I like to know why it went up seven hundred and now it's down a shit ton. Uh, we don't seem to have any real updates on this. Um, yeah, I mean, the markets are changing so much faster than Yahoo can update the uh, articles. <clears throat> I mean, I know some people in the comments in Yahoo actually say Yahoo Finance is shit. But Yahoo Finance always actually has some good articles. Uh, not every article, obviously, is good, but it's better. It's certainly better than the crap that we've been seeing here on Daily Holo, so... Uh, it could also be confirmation bias too, but you know, at least when I used to be in the stocks, like I spent a lot of time Yahoo Finance. So, uh, let's see. Well, that's a shame. Um, well, at least Rimmel's still up. So, uh, but it's down from when everything else is down. So that's what I want to see. I want to see all these stocks being correlated with the stock market because I'm already betting my. I'm not putting in any more money, but I'm already making the. Uh, what is it? I'm already saying that I think the bottom is pretty much in because, again, the fundamentals, uh, you know, are looking better and better every day. However, uh, I, I don't know why everything's going back down. So I'm going to have to assume it's going to be the commercial real estate properties uh, being a problem because I didn't actually see that mentioned at all here. So um, I don't know if uh, if that continues to get worse, then yes, uh, we're going. The economy is going to crash again. So markets will go down again we'll head towards 66 percent correction territory again which i hope does not happen and then trump will be like oh shit this is kind of a problem you know i'm gonna have to deal with it uh so we'll have to see but for now they have to, they said they're gonna pass it like today uh they, well they said the deal has been reached so they'll, they'll probably vote on it i can't imagine the house saying no because the house democrats are mostly in charge i mean aoc might complain about it um but i don't even think that dumb cunt's going to say no because then she'll have to explain to everybody, hey, we mostly got what we need. Can we get it now? Uh, why are you being a bitch? You know, so. I have any other secure pay time. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Amazon will just have to do whatever. I mean, they should because Amazon, like, fucking, like, you know, owns everything. You know, Google owns the other half of the world. And then uh, Microsoft kind of gets the scraps. So. Um, again, it's trying to be a small guy, guys are kind of shining out, big man experience, I told pay a lack of accountability. Okay, so she's not, uh, okay. All right, so it looks like she will actually vote for this bill. Uh, she's just doing the standard, like, you know, GOP, bad corporation, big corporation bailout, and everybody else gets fucked. Because the fact that she even said small businesses, so she knows. Uh, plus, I make evictions while I'm running obligation to continue to kill all the bug or have a crisis in three months. Uh, uh, activists might disagree. Yeah, uh, people still have to pay rent, but everyone else gets a freeze. Like, I'm okay, but everyone else is not. So that's kind of a problem. Um... <clears throat> Half a trillion. Uh, it's probably a bill and ask you to defer your April pay, phone bill, mortgage, credit card, student loans. Many are doing so, but you must contact them. I mean, I'm still going to just keep paying my shit. It doesn't matter. So, um, uh, I mean, it would be nice if I could defer. I mean, it's actually, it's a, def it's a, it's a rent deferment. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, as long as I get my Trump bucks. Now, however, if this fucking cut in the house downvotes this bill and we don't get anything, um, I actually do think for the first time the Democrats will finally be uh, to blame because like everybody's getting something like I know the article here didn't say anything about how the qualify how you qualify with 1200 but before the Senate GOP bill got uh, shot down by the House 
it did say 2018 or 2019 income levels if you filed. Uh, and, then, and then the House improved on it, quote unquote. Uh, in fact, I think the House even said everyone was getting 1200 uh, 1200 bucks. Uh, um, they even wanted to give everyone $1,200 a month until the crisis was over. Uh, $1,200 a month, coronavirus. Uh, I really don't want to go to Vox, but hopefully they'll mention what it is. Where are we at? 40 minutes? Uh, yeah, I've already... Yeah, I lost out on my bit heroes here. Also, let me claim my free energy from here. Okay, there we go. Uh, there, bam, done. Um, so the CARES Act Phase 3, um, okay, very simple. $1,200 each and $500 per kid. All right, that's good. Uh, at higher incomes, it would get smaller. Uh, so they still kept in this means tested thing. <clears throat> Uh, oh, so they actually kept this. Uh, so where is the part about your income? Uh, uh, unlike for, uh, what? Unlike some early GOP, there's no minimum income which would exclude very poor. But the checks amounts don't phase in, so the middle class doesn't get more than the poor. Okay, so that's also good too, because like fucking over to poor people that just have no income or less than twenty five hundred. Like, wh what are you doing? Just give them the fucking money. Right. Remember, they're poor. They're poor for a reason. So they're going to spend the money anyway. So you're, the economy is going to get it back. Right. I know this sounds harsh, but yes, you know, we all get what we deserve in the end. You know, Jesse, that's what Jesse Lee Peterson says. I 100 percent agree. Right. You know, I got what I deserved when I got my ass, you know, rammed by UBS and MRRL, even though there's plenty of other plane to go around. Sure. But we all got what we deserved. All right. And I have to take responsibility for that shit. Right. And money is no different. If I look when I look back at my life, had I known now what I know, if I know then what I know now, I could have been I definitely would be talking to you right now as like, you know, probably 20, 30 million dollar net worth minimum. All right. But that didn't happen. So, uh, yeah, just give people the fucking money. Jeez. All right. Smart people will get richer and dumb idiots will get poor. It's just how it goes. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so this thing so it looks like they're not mentioning like who qualifies for it in terms of the fucking income rates um 93.6 i don't care about this stuff uh see they spend here we go yeah there we go this is what we're looking for they spend so much time bashing the fucking republican party that the most important part is this part right here the phase out for top earners will be done using 2019 tax returns or 2018 returns. The taxpayer hasn't, in, in question, hasn't filed for the 2019 taxes yet. I am not in this category. That's why I rushed already last week or early this week. I don't know when I filed. When did I file my taxes? Because let me check my email date. March 18th. So, yeah, it was, so it was actually the last Wednesday. Holy shit. Time flies so fast. I thought it was a few days ago. Uh, all right, so yeah, last Wednesday I already filed my taxes, and the IRS is, and New York State has already taken uh, their tax, my tax payment uh, out of my bank account. So I am locked in. I am locked in for my twelve hundred dollar Trump bucks. Yes, I get my twelve hundred dollar Trump bucks. Oh yeah, if you're curious, I wound up earning something like twenty four grand or less than that. And funny enough, half, almost half of it came from the dividend income from the MRRL. So uh, but that's because I'm not selling any of my crypto. I'm just hoarding it. So uh, there wasn't even anything any there where to like declare like any more cryptocurrency stuff. So I just simply wrote cryptocurrency Bitcoin mine. So the IRS is just not going to not will not be giving me any problems. <clears throat> and obviously there's my uh, IRS designated uh, litecoin wallet right so you know in probably in a couple of years when the cryptocurrency markets skyrocket at the peak and i decide to sell you know hopefully for at least you know five to ten million bucks you know uh, then i have to pay the 2050 capital gains tax rate 2019 i think i keep saying it was 20 percent, but it's actually 15 percent, right uh 15 for what hell for more than a year uh what how is it zero percent I don't think that applies to cryptocurrency, though. Um, 
generally they're generally lower, lower uh, home sales. Interesting. I did not know this. Wait. You can have a zero percent capital gains if my income is zero to thirty nine. Hello, can I keep all my money? <laughs> Hello, can I keep all my money? Check. Uh, this actually. Wait, let me think about that. See, I'm sacrificing. Well, here's the thing, right? Excuse me. No, here's the thing, right? If I'm hoarding all that income, yeah, that's, well, if I stay, <clears throat> well, here's the thing. If I stay in this range and then the bull run peak happens and then I dump all my money, then I could bypass the capital gains on it, right? Because I'll be staying at this level and then say two years from now, and then all of a sudden, I go full ham and I dump all that money. Hmm. Uh, okay. And they're doing the same thing here. We're definitely going to have to uh, keep an eye on this then. Let me see. Is that practical though? Because it would be worth it, right? Because if I make $5 million, 15% of that is 750 grand. So, because I'm always because I keep dumping my crypto and just you know, and that's considered short term income, I'm definitely going to be in this 15% bracket. Oh, but then that means I would have to only sell a certain portion of my cryptocurrency. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll just I'll just do it the normal way. Fuck it. If I have to pay if I have to pay fifteen percent, then whatever. I pay fifteen percent. It's still much better than paying like thirty percent or whatever. Fuck it. All right. So anyway, this is what I was looking for. All right. So we're gonna get the twenty. So yeah. So I'm locked in. Uh, now here's the thing. Are we getting the payment? Are we getting these checks every month, or is it just a one time thing until Trump decides we need to send another one? That's what. We, that's the next thing. Tax policy caters uh da, 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 da. uh because there's no okay i don't care about that it said a bill was written of course people those okay the bill is written would require these people to file 2019 returns and get their coronavirus checks that's a potential significant burden especially at the time the irs volunteer tax prep uh well i don't care about that i follow my taxes so give me my money uh senate democrats include among their demands across the bill be amended allow cash to go directly to me yes See, as much as I hate the fucking shit lib Democrats, at least, you know, at least they know how to do bailouts correctly. You know, the Republican Party, they just do bailouts for big corporations. You know, the Democrats, on the other hand, they do bailouts for both the uh, normie people and the fucking corporations. That's why nobody gives them a sh uh, gives too much shit about them. All right. That's why ultimately, like, I just can't stand, like, basically most of the fake right or really anybody in the conservative movement these days because they're all fucking retarded right why do you think nick fuentes and the groypers are so fucking popular because for the first time in my life i actually see true hot die hard conservatives that actually are taking the best aspects of the democrats and implementing it as a core philosophy into a conservative slash republican thing right everybody else is just being a fucking f-word piece of shit so they don't deserve any of the money, the fame, or the Twitter followings. And it's very aggravating to me. All right? And of course, yes, Mike Turner still retweets them from time. In fact, you could allow them today uh, before I started this video. But I'll have to just deal with the, those fake right assholes uh, in due time. So they're addressed by the Social Security language already in this GOP bill. <clears throat> they're going to be sending more shit through the EBT cards. That's the food stamp thing. Um, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I filed my 2019 taxes. I might be able to qualify for food stamps, actually. Uh, I should actually look into that. I didn't realize. Wait a minute. Um, New York City food stamp requirements. I forgot about that. Um, uh, including for uh, without monthly gross income. What's... Oh, man, that is really low. Oh, annual gross income. Shit. Uh, 
what documents do you need? Uh, well, I also have these things. Um, hmm. See, technically, I could because I remember the way New York City does it is they don't necessarily go by your twenty by your in my case twenty nineteen taxes, but it could also go by what I'm doing this year. And then I assume they're going to check. Ah, uh, this is really borderline. Um, yeah, I guess we'll hold off on it. Damn. Well, it would have been nice to get uh, free food again. Because <laughs> at this point, it's about, you know, while well, everyone's getting their free gimme that's, I better get my free gimme that's, right? Because I'll get rich later, but the problem is it's later. I have to take care of today, right? And technically, yeah, I can't afford it, but, you know, if I'm eligible for food stamps, I might as well take advantage of that because that way I save more money later. Right? And I'm not buying it and using it to buy stupid shit either. I'm actually buying real groceries with it. So it's actually going to what it's supposed to. My liability for disabled board people, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and that's the end of the article. Okay. So we don't, so I'm going to assume this is a one time thing, but there does appear to be room to add more checks to people. Um, so we'll have to see. And of course, you know, it's always just, you know, Congress being a bunch of assholes. They're just trying to give us little people as little money as possible while giving the fucking corporations, whether you know, the GOP has their corporations, the Democrats have their corporations and like climate change and all that other bullshit. Right? Remember Solyndra, right? When I used to watch Bill O'Reilly, they used to harp on that all the time. Right? It's the same bullshit, right? But the reason why the Republicans get more of the blame than the Democrats, and they definitely deserve the blame, is because at least the fucking Democrats are like saying, hey, can we send more money to people, right? So people will just think, oh, the Democrats, they're such nice people. They're really not. They just happen to be nicer than the Republicans, but they're both bad people, right? It's just like just like in Christianity, right, with Jesse's teachings, right? Everyone is bad, right? You know, so <laughs> kind, of, kind of thing, right? I, I tend to be nicer about it. It's like, yeah, we're all bad, but that's okay because God still loves us. So, you know, we just got to make sure we do the right thing so we can get right with God, right? You know, maybe you'll succeed, maybe you won't. But the important thing, I think, personally, is you just try, right? That's all that matters. Because remember, God tried all sorts of things before he sent Jesus Christ. Right? He killed everyone with the flood. He did Sodom and Gomorrah, destroyed everyone there. And then bad things still keep happening. And God's like, myself, what do I do with this? It's like, okay, I've tried literally everything else. How about I be a nice person and then just try try, try sending Jesus Christ? Maybe that'll work better. On top of that, look what happened with uh, good old Satan. Like, you know, he's like, I got like this nightmare, you know, to deal with for the rest of eternity. He's like, oh, <laughs> what do I do? So, you know, so like... In order for that, so in order for that to happen, then yeah, you have to be flexible. You have to be forgiving, right? Even for people you don't like, um, yeah, you'll probably like you know they'll probably have to do certain things you don't want to do, like block or well, I mean you really shouldn't block, but I mean if people are just going to spam you with fake accounts, then yeah, go ahead and block them because they're not using the real person, All right? But you know minimum, but you don't want to be like uh, Owen Benjamin, right? Where he's just like just alienating everybody. Right. You also don't want to be like Alexander, where he'll pretend to be your friend, right? And then once you get famous enough, he'll give you exceptions. But then I know how he really is, because you know, because he treated me badly, because I'm not anybody, right? Well, he's gonna be proven wrong, and like you should not be behaving like that, all right? Because God will know, and he's gonna punish you accordingly, right? Now, will he deny you heaven because of that? Uh, I, I mean, again, I like to think God will let pretty much anyone in, but, you know, it depends on how arrogant you are when you, you know, can talk to Jesus or God or whoever you talk to in the hour afterlife. So, you know, if everybody, you know, you have to let everything go at that point. I mean, it's the afterlife. Why do you care about anything anymore? It's like, well, you can't die anymore, right? So the only thing you have to worry about is just, you know, being sent to the forges of hell. So, uh, yeah, it's like, you know what, just you know, let everything go. So, anyway, but with that being said, don't let people, you know, rape you up the ass without your consent either. So, that's what I'm looking, that's what I'm, I'm always out on the lookout for. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC radio. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. Uh, so, we can continue going on this channel. So this video wound up being really long, 55 minutes. Uh, it's only 10, 30, 26 a.m. So for the most part, again, I do nothing. Uh, right now, the markets were up, and then now that I'm ending this video, the markets seem to be neutral or down. 
Let's see, Rommel's doing okay, everything else looks... So everything looks to be as it should be, so... I don't know, it's going to be continue to be volatile until we can see... Fired Americans sent unemployment websites crashing. Oh yeah, so now the residual effects of coronavirus are now starting to tick in. The unemployment claims are skyrocketing to millions. Uh, uh, rents are not being paid anywhere. Uh, so... It's going to be pretty rough. Uh, I am not going to be buying, but I think we'll be okay. All right. Because my number one concern, of course, is Remel. All right. Because I don't want Credit Suzy to just try to just simply say, okay, we're mandatory redemptions. I don't know. I still keep reading comments saying that Remel does not have mandatory redemptions. They do. All right. But Credit Suzy just seems to be a lot nicer about it. Plus, the terms are better. Uh, AMZA is already fucked. Microsoft, we don't care. How. We know that they're always going to be safe. RF will be my next level of concern, right? Because again, if it drops below five bucks, uh, and they're a bank, uh, so they're affected by you know all these defaults and rent freezes and stuff like that. But they've been pretty stable throughout this whole crisis too. So I think we're okay on RF, but it's, it's something I'm keeping my eye on. So as long as Rebel doesn't go crazy, but if Rebel crashes to 50, 6, 50 60 cents again, I'm definitely gonna look at to buy it up. But we're gonna have to definitely look. At the fundamentals, because maybe it really is going towards zero, right? So uh, that's what I'm at. And of course, crypto, yeah, I don't really care. Crypto will just do whatever it normally does. Crypto is not skyrocketing until this this whole coronavirus shit's gone anyway. So forget about the Bitcoin halving that's happening in May, right? Don't even think about it, right? Even if it happens, it won't matter because of coronavirus. Uh, but, oh, I did not mean to star this. Oh, my God, this is so annoying. Uh, but yeah, Trump, uh, Trump's ch odds are going up. So, uh, yeah, a lot of info, a lot of info. Uh, let's take a look here. 47. Yeah. Notice how it goes up and down as the stock markets go up and down. <laughs> uh, so that's good. That's good. Cause that means we uh, have something very predictable. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Um, it's volatile. You could choose to buy or not. I'm choosing to just lay low. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm laying low this whole week. In fact, I'm just I'm just going to lay low the whole time if possible because I'm just... I already bought enough shit, right? I just want this thing to end, all right? And we're going to have to tough it out for, like, next couple weeks. Okay, you know? Uh, it's, uh, it's just another day at the office. Johnson Chan, JMC coin, 404 coin, and we probably want... Ah, oh, we really need, uh, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. All right, I guess we'll just use this as a thumbnail.